Hi, it's Corrine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm doing a two page layout in my large red smash book. I love working in a smash book. I do have a playlist on my channel. This is actually my fourth smash book that I'm working on. So I have an entire playlist dedicated to just smash book pages if you're interested. Just go to my channel and check that out. So here I'm going through trying to find two pages that will work with the papers that I want to use. I'm using a gorgeous collection from Felicity Jane, the Brie collection. So even though I'm kind of looking through, I did decide to use these two white pages. And again, I wanted to do a double page layout. The paper collection is a digital collection. I also have a video on my channel um, just kind of explaining how I use digital collections. I love using digital collections collections because you can scale them, you can um, make them your own, you can print them out and use them as many times as you want. There's no limit to it. So these pages here in the book are 13 and a half by nine and three quarters. And I decided I wanted to work on a little bit smaller page. So I'm just going to alter it. And that's another thing I love about a smash book. I love to alter the pages. So I'm going to cut this down to 12 inches high rather than the um, 13 and a half that it currently is. So I'm going to, to keep it even in the middle, instead of cutting it all from the top or all from the bottom, I'm going to cut three quarters from the top and three quarters from the bottom. And that way it'll put my pages in the middle, again, leaving them to 12 by nine and three quarters. I just put a cutting mat below it and then using my Tim Holtz ruler, the metal edge, and then my craft knife it's easy to cut them down. So I'm going to do that both on the left side of the book and the right side of the book. The um, papers that I'm using, I'm going to go over the sizes. I, I will also have them on the screen as well, but I printed out three different papers and I'm using a Epson Workforce 7710 printer. It's a large format printer, which allows me to, to print larger sizes. So the frame paper is 11 and three quarters by nine and a half. And same with the blue paper. The polka dot paper is 11 and three quarters by seven and a quarter. And as I'm showing you here, this frame paper comes blank, but I added these digital stamps, wording and the hearts into the frames. And same with this black polka dot there, that's a digital stamp. So that's one of the reasons I love using digital is you can really make them your own. The photos I'm using are six and a half by four and a half. And the smaller photo is four by two and three quarters. And I did add them to mats that are one inch uh, larger, both in height and width. Here are some of the embellishments that I printed out and cut out. I do like to back all my embellishments with at least one layer of cardstock below it. So here I'm just showing you how I do that. I cut one out just from cardstock and using some beacon fabric tack, I'm going to adhere them together. And some of them like the heart and that little plant there, I did two layers behind them. Same with the, the wording sweet girl. I did two layers. I like to give them a, a chipboard consistency. And a lot of times I like to leave a little bit of a white border, just like it would look like if you bought the embellishment kit. So I went ahead and added my double sided tape and I like to remove the tape from just the top. And this way I can kind of move the paper around, get it exactly centered where I would like. And then I will press down the top part, which adheres it down. And then I can use my Tim Holtz paper piercer, remove the rest of the backing. And I also like to add a little tape to the center of it as well. I really like to make sure it's adhered down well. So this blue paper that has the big white block to it, I knew I was going to be covering most of it, so there was no need to waste all that ink. So I just added a white block to where the polka dot paper was going to be covering it up. Again, adhering just the top part, go back, remove the rest of the tape backing and add a little tape to the center as well. Also, my photos, I did add a white mat to the smaller photo and then the larger photo, I just cut it out. Since I printed these pictures that I'm using from home, I just left a white border on that larger photo uh, before adhering them down to my photo mats. 
So the papers are pretty busy with the frames, so I wanted to keep everything else pretty simple. My embellishments, I didn't want to add too much. Sometimes I like adding a lot of embellishments and flowers, and, um, and other times I like to just do simple pages. And here I was going for more of a simple look because of the papers being so busy. So again, adding that smaller photo on a white mat and then adding it to the photo mat, uh, which again is one inch taller and wider than the photo itself. For that sweet girl, I just um, used a font that I had in my stash, printed and cut that out from my Silhouette Cameo. I added a, a border so it had a white border to sit on to make it stand out from the page a little bit more. And now before I'm adding my embellishments, I wanted to go ahead and adhere my papers down using my ATG. I'm going to put those at a slight angle. And then those are the, the flower clusters um, that come in the collection as well. I love Felicity Jane. I love that all their collections, you can really mix and match them as well. So I'm going to tuck that behind, add the sweet girl to it as well. I'm just seeing, I cut out several other flowers that I ended up not using. Again, just trying to keep it simple, but at the time I wasn't exactly sure how many or what I was going to add. So I just cut out several. I can use those for another project. The sweet girl has two different chipboard layers behind it, like I mentioned. So it gives it a nice thickness. And then these little pom poms, super cute. I'm going to add that across my picture. And then this little bow. I have so much fun with going back and looking at all my smash books. Um, when family comes over, we, we like to go through them too. I love working in my smash book. It's, I really, since I started working in a smash book, I get a lot of photos scrapped because I don't spend a lot of time figuring it out. I just put down some pretty papers, some cute embellishments, and some of my favorite photos. Most of the time with my Smashbook too, I just print the pictures out from home. I use, for my photos, I use a Canon Pigsma 3-in-1. It's the Pigsma 512 printer, and um, it really, I'm really happy with the pictures. They're not, you know, they're not perfect, but they really turn out pretty, and you can um, always adjust them in your photo editing. Turn them to black and white or change the colors. So I wanted to tie in those flowers on the right side of the page as well as the left, and then I'm tucking in, as you can see, a few more here at the top of that photo. Here's a little um, acrylic bow that I wanted to add to the top of that. And then I'm going to add some white enamel dots. I'm adding in my niece's name and the date to it in a black pen. And that's all there was to it. I hope you've enjoyed and thanks so much for stopping by. Have a great day today.